right y'all we're getting ready to start the monthly reset so we're starting off with panera drinks because you know we gotta get a little boost i have a special guest with me today that will be accompanying me this is my sister betty her name is really kirsten but you will always hear me call her betty and don't even ask how that started we don't even know but we're gonna be running lots of errands cleaning and so we need some energy to do that so we're gonna get started and i'll see you guys in panera bye <laughs> Now we are getting ready to go to the library to return some of the books that I got y'all. The other books that I got outside of front and centers were not good. So I will be returning them and hopefully this month's book picks will be better. So yeah.
it. This is where I reflect on how last month went and then I do some just intentional planning for the following month. I always like to do this because I want to see what's working and what's not working. I do have a video that talks about how I do my monthly audit and why I do it in more detail and I'll leave that in the description box below. So now that I'm pretty much finished the monthly audit part, I'm going to start writing down some of the business goals that I have for Q2 so that I can just make sure that I'm very clear on what I want to accomplish so I'm not wasting a lot of time. Once we finish this, I think we're gonna go candle sniffing and then we have to get serious and go grocery shopping and start all the cleaning and things like that. So let this be your sign to review your quarterly goals so that you can make sure that you have time to adjust. You don't wanna wait until you get to the point where you're at the end of the year and you don't have enough time to kind of adjust. So this is a great time every month to just kind of review everything that you're doing. So I will see y'all when we go either grocery shopping or candle sniffing. Tell them what you're reading, Betty. Oh, I just realized that the mic is this way. Um, I'm reading The Jesus. Read. Really good book. If you haven't read that, highly recommend. Alrighty, so we just finished up grocery shopping. I was gonna do my whole weekly planning, but honestly, the same tasks that I had from last week are the same tasks that are on my plate for this week. And sometimes that happens, so I'm not gonna go through the whole session, but usually I would plan out my week, starting out with the empty out session, and then I would you know, put the tasks inside smart tasks and things like that. You can watch my weekly plan with me to see that process, but for me, my week is already planned out. I know what I need to do, and most of it is just finishing up a lot of those tasks that were lingering around. For this month but we're getting ready to get Betty some China walk because um, that's her thing and then we're gonna go home and start the laundry that I've been avoiding for 10,000 years so yeah that's what we're gonna do next I'll see y'all when we get back to the house Bye. 
so let's do a quick little grocery haul of what I got. It's obviously just me, I'm one person, so I don't need a bunch of stuff. So it's kind of a smaller grocery haul. So this week I'm making like a stir fry. So I got the jasmine rice right here. Then I got some linguine, cause I'm gonna make half rice, half linguine. Then I got some mushrooms. A big pack of green peppers and like mixed peppers. I'm also gonna make a pot roast. So they sell these like little Tyson's pot roast kits at Aldi's, which are pretty good. Um, got a little bit of snacks. Some, these are so good, okay? If you've never been to Aldi's and got the jalapeno kettle chips, you're missing out. Um, I got these little protein bars. It's 10 grams of protein in there. Y'all know I'm trying to get my protein up as I'm working out. This is the stir fry sauce that I use. It's by Wegmans. It's the organic stir fry sauce and it has garlic and ginger in it. Chef's kiss. Um, they also had some Celsius. I like these for when I'm working out. I didn't get a lot, but I got the watermelon flavor. I've only tried the kiwi guava and the, what's the other one? The, it's like a tropical one. The tropical one is the best. Um, but yeah, then I got some organic bananas. I got these like little peach iced tea Weiler's light and I put these with my protein powder because it's unflavored and it just makes it taste so much better instead of having like a vanilla protein shake every morning um this is just like a better way for me to do it so I'll show you guys that when I do my morning routine um and then I got a kombucha I love this one this is the raspberry lemon ginger flavor I haven't actually tried this one I usually get the cranberry peach one which I like but I'm trying something different but these are sparkling kombuchas I usually get the brand I forgot what it's called but it's like pink apple lady or something like that and that's cool but getting something different and then lastly I just keep like some dry roasted honey roasted nuts on my desk for when I get hungry. So that's the grocery haul. I'm gonna unload these and then we gotta start the laundry y'all. We have so much, so much laundry. So I will see y'all when we do that. Bye. Anyone else have a cat that hides in boxes? Like he has a whole, you're ashamed, aren't you? You're ashamed because you are somewhere where you shouldn't be. Say hi to the people. Say hi, say hi, I'm Kingsley and I have a, <laughs> look at you not wanting to look. Why are you acting like this, Kingsley? You're in a whole box. This is actually my my desk box that I refuse to get rid of because it just makes it easier to move. But everyone say hello to Kingsley. Say hi, say hi, say hi, Mookie. Say hi. You really need to stop acting raggedy and go play in your kitty castle. Hi, Mookie. Hi, Mookie. Say hello. Say hello to the vlog. Okay, so real quick before I do my laundry, I wanted to show you guys the books that I got for this month. So I always pray, of course, before I go into the library to see if there's a book that God wants me to read. And so there's two books that caught my attention. And the first one is called The Cost of Control, Why We Crave It, The Anxiety It Gives Us, and The Real Power God Promises. So I haven't read these yet, but this one like jumped off the show for me. So I'm excited about that. I think that control is definitely something that I can use some work on. So I'm excited to read that. Um, I also got this book by Gary Chapman. I believe he wrote the, yeah, he wrote the five love languages book and it's called Things I Wish I'd Known Before We Got Married. Um, and so it just seemed like a really interesting book to read. So I picked this one. So the next book that I got is Spare by Prince Harry. It's been out for a while, but the librarian that I talk to all the time, she was like, I think you would enjoy this. And so I'm interested to read it. I like biographies and learning about people's lives. So I'm excited to read this. And then the last book that I got is called Walking in My Joy in the Streets by Jennifer Lewis. So I'm excited to read this book. She's pretty funny. The first one that I read by her, I didn't really like, just kind of like how it was starting off. I don't know what it was. It just, I don't know. I like to learn about people's personal experience. And I felt like the first book that I read was more like a long resume. So the librarian um, said that this one was like much better. So I'll let you guys know how I like these books on my next monthly reset, but I did wanna show you what I'm reading. Also, if you have any good book recommendations, please leave them in the comments below. It is such a struggle sometimes to find good books. I don't have an issue finding like Christian books, but I have an issue sometimes finding like clean fiction novels and things like that, which is what I really wanna get into. So please leave your recommendations below and I would be so happy and maybe we can start a little book club or something. All right, I have procrastinated on this laundry long enough. Let's go do some laundry.